Hey, YouTube world. Hey, Kirk Basher. Thanks for stopping by. I was uh, watching my buddy, uh, Brandon at Eddie Family Farms, and he talked about the auction tonight on his live. And, uh, yeah, I've been to a lot of auctions. My day. I ain't never been to an animal auction, though. But I've been to different auctions, you know. I remember one auction in particular. Oh, hang on. You gotta get rid of this. What do you call them? Cancer sticks? Uh, yep. Anyway, y'all Indians, give me that. Anyhow, uh, I went to a Quail Unlimited map at one time. You get there, you know, and you get checked in. And they got these pretty girls running around selling tickets on guns and raffles and stuff. Yeah, it's kind of fun, and you can smell the quail cooking in the kitchen. Oh, boy. Then the breakdown, you know, and pledge allegiance to the flag and say the Lord's Prayer. Everybody eats. Clean the tables off and a little time for guys to, you know, smoke a cigar or have a little drink of bourbon or whatever. <clears throat> they used to get them liquored up good. They'd have free crowns. Yeah. Anyway, uh, and then the auction would start, you know. And I had them pretty girls go up there and grab them pictures and sculptures and haul them around. And then it starts getting on. Kind of reminded me of what Brandon was talking about at that auction. You know? Well, this particular auction, there was a BB gun. The youth model BB gun, but it was all impregnated with uh, Quail Unlimited logo, and it was a it was a it was a daisy. It was, and it was you know nice wood on it, and engraving on it. It was cool, and uh, he said, "Boy, I want to buy that for my son." what Greg said. Greg Manley. He was the one putting on the show. Had a little six-year-old boy there with him. That was his son. And it was going to be his son's first gun was that, that BB gun right there. Well, when it come up on auction and everything, you know, started out 50, yeah, 75, 100, 200, 300. I can see Greg over there sweating, you know, I think. 400, back and forth it went and got a thousand dollars and Greg kind of pulled off of it so I said well I, I put my hand up you know twelve hundred fifteen sixteen seven two thousand three thousand dollars I know I had to say there's no more where didn't know he might want it <clears throat> maybe he's got a grandchild so name was Billy Bragg. He used to own the John Deere dealership here. He sold Kubota's too on the side. <laughs> Anyhow, um, he bought it. As soon as he bought it, went up there, got it, took it straight over there, that little young boy, and gave it to him. He did. Billy Bragg, Millersville, Georgia. One of the kindest uh, men I ever know. He did. He done a lot of different things too. When he got ready to sell his business, I would get out of it. He didn't sell it, he just give it away. <laughs> give it. You can have this, you can have this. I'm out of it. Pretty cool, ain't it? Yeah. Anyway, that, that little auction story come up tonight because I was watching Brandy, uh, Brandon, Eddie Family Farm, talking about going to the auction and buying them animals. And, uh, yeah. 
There's good people out there. There really are. God bless everybody. Adios. Ed Kirkpatrick.